Hi, welcome to Online for Love, your resource for online dating by the numbers. I'm Amy, your online dating expert, and today I'm going to be reviewing Match.com. I'm going to reveal seven things that you need to know before signing up for Match. Stick around for the last one because it's definitely the most important. Match.com went live in 1995, making it the oldest dating website in the whole world. It's actually the year I was born, so getting kind of old now. <laughs> Match's proactive business strategy helps the site to become a success by one, using a subscription-based model, and two, more importantly, being inclusive to all minorities and all people. They were actually inclusive of the LGBTQ plus community all the way back in the 90s. Match produces hundreds of success stories from around the world every month, and it makes sense seeing as it's one of the most popular dating sites in the whole world. So to get started on this Match review, I've broken down everything that you need to know into seven sections. Setup, cost, features, who's on the site, accessibility, site navigation, and most importantly, the success rate of Match.com. So when signing up for Match, you will immediately be asked a whole bunch of questions and you do need to answer them in order to sign up for your profile. You'll be asked about your height, your body type, your relationship status, if you have kids, if you want kids, your education level, if you smoke, your religion, salary, interest, etc. The questions go on. It is quite a bit of questions, but it actually doesn't take too, too long to fill out. The questions all seemed relevant and things that you would want to know for potential matches and what your potential matches would want to know about you. Then you'll be prompted to write a description about yourself and upload a photo, both of which you can change later. By the way, I just want to acknowledge how nerve-wracking it can be to set up your online dating profile. It's like so much pressure and you want to do and say the right things to attract the right people. To make it easier, Online for Love actually has this amazing ultimate guide to creating an online dating profile for both men and women. Definitely make sure to check out that free guide on how to create your perfect online dating profile by clicking the link popping up now or in the description below. So once you've uploaded a photo or not, the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to be asked if you want to pay to become a member of Match.com. But you don't have to pay for anything if you don't want to. Then you've done it. Your profile is made. So that brings us to our second category. How much does it cost to become a member of Match.com? Before we continue though, if you're liking this video, please be sure to thumbs up the video so I know that you liked it and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more videos coming out from us. Hit the little bell as well. So like I said, technically Match.com can be free, but you're not going to be any of the benefits that are really the point of using something like Match.com. Match.com offers quite a few tiers of memberships actually, so let's just get into them. Just keep in mind that the prices I'm about to mention are only true as of recording this video. So this whole review is in article form with more information and it's always being updated, so if you want to know what the actual numbers are in real time, definitely check out the article. It's always gonna be linked in the description. So Match actually offers three standard plans and three premium plans. The standard plans go like this. You can pay for three months of their standard plan for $21.99 per month, or you could pay for six months of their standard plan at $18.99 per month, or finally, you could pay for 12 months of their standard plan for $17.99 per month. Their premium plans are of course a little bit pricier. Their most expensive being three months of premium for $24.99 a month, then their most popular plan which is six months of premium for $21.99 a month, then their best deal of all which is 12 months of premium at $18.99 per month. The great news is though that for any of these tiers of premium membership of Match.com, you can actually get a 25% discount if you follow the link in the description. Online for Love has hooked us all up. I even used this as well and I'm so thankful. So definitely use that 25% if you want to save some money. So what do you actually get when you become a member of Match.com? What do all of the tiers of memberships give you? That leads me right into the features of Match.com. So all of the three premium plans that Match.com offers actually offer a few more perks than the standard premium plans. So when you get any of the three premium plans on Match.com, that means that you'll be able to get message read alerts. So you'll be able to know if the person you're talking to has read your message. With your premium plan, you also get something really cool. You get to have your profile reviewed by a Match.com expert and you'll receive personalized tips. This is such a unique feature and something so cool and helpful for anybody, especially if you're new at online dating, but even if you're not, getting an expert to help you improve your profile is so cool and I don't think I've seen this feature on any other dating site. Something else that's really helpful and always free for anybody to use is Online for Love's dating quiz. This quiz narrows down the best dating site specifically for you. Maybe it's Match.com, maybe it's Tinder, Grindr, 
who knows? It can be anything. So definitely take that quiz to find out what's the best dating site for you after all. The last thing that becoming a premium member on Match gets you is that you get a monthly boost. So this boost means that your profile will be pushed to the top for one hour every month, which results in three times as many views and emails. So now I'm going to talk about what both the standard and the premium plans offer you. So you can send, see, respond to messages completely freely, which you can't do if you're not a member at all. You can see who's viewed you. You can see who's liked you. You can super like people. You can remove members from view even. And probably the most interesting perk that you get when you become a member is that you get priority access to match events, something that I actually had no idea even existed, but is so cool. Match actually hosts events all over, things like happy hours, outdoor excursions, talks from relationship experts, even online chats. Um, members get priority access to all of these events. And yet another really cool perk of becoming a member of Match is that you can actually call a dating coach. Like you can actually call an expert and talk to them and get tips personal, personalized. That's so cool. Another thing is that Match actually offers these cool videos all about dating and relationships. So there's things like how to text better, um, what men want, how to get over being ghosted, all sorts of cool videos. Almost, it almost looks like Snapchat in a way. It just has these videos for you to sort through. When you're a member, you can see all of the videos and they're just helpful, quick little videos that just help your online dating. When you're not a member, you can view some of them, but when you're a member, you get access to all of the helpfulness of those videos. Now I'm gonna talk about the features that you will get if you don't pay for Match. So you can search for profiles, you can receive top picks, create a profile, post a photo, and send likes. But think about how difficult it is to meet matches when you can't even chat with them. Becoming a member just makes it so much easier to find your match. Now let's talk about who is actually on Match. Let's get into some statistics. So 28% of the people on Match are baby boomers, so people aged about 54 to 74. 31% of the people on Match are millennials, aged 24 to 38. And the majority of the people on Match.com are actually Gen Xers, so aged 39 to 53. 91% of all of these people have attended college or have a college degree, and 44% are actually single parents. People on Match are generally looking for long-term, committed, serious relationships. It's not really used so much as a hookup app especially not in the way that Tinder is, you know, it prioritizes looks over everything else. Match.com focuses a lot more on getting to know people and deeper connections. Match does, however, let you really narrow your options when it comes to who you want to look for when you're dating. So it's not devoid of the whole looks side of things, but it does value personality and your traits and everything like that, your actual compatibility with people a lot more than a lot of other dating sites. The type of people who go past those paywalls and pay for premium memberships actually tend to be a lot more serious when it comes to dating than those who go on apps that don't require paywalls. The fact that you have to answer long questionnaires on Match makes the people who are on there more serious as well because they're actually taking the time to answer these questions thoughtfully, thinking about possible compatibility with people. By the way, when you start online dating, you're opening the door for possible long distance relationships. So Online for Love actually has tons of free articles that talk about all sorts of stuff, but one of them that I found really helpful was what it's like to be and tips for a long-term relationship. When you are dating online, you have the possibility of meeting people from anywhere, especially when you use Match, because they cater to all sorts of different countries. So I think it's a great read. You should click the link in the description or popping up now to go to Online for Love and read their free guide on long-distance relationships. Now let's talk about the accessibility of Match. So first off, it's very accessible to anyone in the way that it's available as a website on the desktop computer, and it's also available as an app on your phone. All of the websites and platforms that they have, it's seamless on all of them. It's really easy to use Match.com. Who is Match accessible to? Well, everybody, <laughs> pretty much everybody. I mean, I already talked about earlier in this video how Match is the first dating website that came out and right out of the gates, it was accessible to minorities and LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus community and women and everybody. Something that really sets Match apart from other dating sites and makes it even more accessible is the fact that it's available in tons of countries. I mean, Match is available in North and South America, Africa, Asia, the Pacific, Europe. I mean, it's everywhere. And the really cool thing too is that the people in all these other countries, they don't have to resort to using a questionable Google Translate on the English to their language. They don't have to learn English either because Match is available in 
tons of different languages. If you want to try some international dating or just see what it's like, Online for Love actually has some really interesting articles about what it's like to date men and women from all different cultures and ethnicities and nationalities. If you want, you could even read up on what it's like to date American women and see if it's accurate or not. But definitely check out that link in the description below. We're popping up now for all of the free dating guides on peoples of different nationalities. Site navigation is so important when it comes to dating websites because if it's if it's not easy to use a dating app or website, then what's the point? Because no one will be using it because it's too difficult. The great thing is that Match.com is super easy to use. First time users and long time users, it's seamless really. Their website is fantastic and they do have an app now as well which is also really seamless it's so easy to use it's definitely up to date on the app you can easily discover new people see your likes your matches and your profile and edit your profile it's simple to find and utilize all of your member benefits like discovering nearby events using your monthly boost and seeing who views you there's even a little section devoted to showing you your premium benefits so that you don't forget to use them it's easy to edit your profile and even change the type of person that you're looking for you can search for specifics about their looks, their appearance, their background, uh, their lifestyle, and even whether or not they have photos. Now it's time to talk about the most important thing when it comes to deciding whether or not you want to sign up for Match, its success rate. The good news is that Match's success rate seems to be pretty incredible. Match actually claims to have led to more dates, relationships, and marriages than any other dating site. And judging slowly on the longevity of its existence and also on the multitude of reviews. Judging by all of that, sounds like it might be true. Match calculates that an average of 200,000 people will find the person they're looking for on their app. In one year alone, Match estimates that 500,000 people were able to find meaningful relationships through Match.com. Match currently has 21 million members. That's a lot of chances for love. I'd say that Match has a pretty fantastic rate of success. If you were looking for a long-term relationship with a serious partner and you want a reliable and real chance at receiving results through a user-friendly vessel, Match, I think, is perfect. It's got a great mix of personalized matches and help, all sorts of cool little features, as well as not neglecting the appearance and more super superficial parts of dating that I think more serious websites like eHarmony sometimes forget. Make sure to take advantage of our 25% off if you do decide to download Match and become a premium member. Thank you so much for watching my Match.com review. Leave a like if you liked it and hit subscribe if you loved it. You don't want to miss any more dating videos from Online for Love. Thanks, hope to see you in the next one. Bye!